Hello, and welcome back to the Roadhouse playthrough of Sekiro. Last we left off, we were moving through with the Fountainhead Palace. You may be wondering, hey man, well what are you doing at the dilapidated temple? Well, I'm glad you asked. See, I was reading up on a few things about Sekiro, or Sekiro, um, and I've learned a few things about the prosthetic tools. One, uh, two about uh, the headless, and a couple other lore things that I'd like to take some time to explore on the side before progressing more through the game. And the reason for that is I get the looming sense that we are getting near the end of the game. So I want to I make sure we don't leave, you know, anything behind. Oh, one thing in particular that stood out to me is that this is actually infinite, apparently. And uh, you could just buy as much divine confetti as you need from this guy, which is huge. Because that means that we could actually take our time and kill some of the headlesses. Now, before I buy this, though, I already have some in hand. I have, I have enough for now. So before I buy this, I actually would like to spend my money upgrading the prosthetic tools. And... and uh, the reason I was playing for a few minutes before I started recording, and the reason for that is because I was just gonna, you know, um, come in here and do a few things that I usually do off camera, like uh, little things about the game that that need to be done. But uh, I was upgrading my prosthetic tools, and I got this one, which is Phoenix's Lilac Umbrella, which apparently helps you against aberration type enemies according to the description. And I saw the next upgrade for the uh, finger whistle. And um, it has an item that I didn't recognize that it requires, and that's the malcontents ring. So I want to try to find that, and I may have an idea of where to find that. Um, also, I found out a, a thing or two about this sword here. It's it's pretty freaking good against the guys that we're up against in the uh, in the at the Fountainhead Palace, the the weird lady dragon warrior people. <laughs> um, so I've been I don't know I really 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 enjoy this game, and uh, so I tend to get obsessed when I get into a game like this, and you know sometimes I just enjoy sitting back and reading about little lore things about the game. And things like that. And so, uh, I was just checking out a few things and I learned a lot. So, I kind of just want to backtrack a little bit and, and explore some things that we may have just kind of blown by before. So, um, why don't we start simple? Let's take on a headless. Um, I know there's one in the outskirts and it's right... I believe it's, um, it would be here, the outskirts wall, stairway. Now, we found a side path here, if you remember, way back when, that led to a headless, and we opted not to fight it, of course, because um, we just weren't strong enough at the time. Also, you know, I didn't know what the techniques were, and I, admittingly, still don't really know what the techniques are, in fact, let me just... Come on, guys. Y you don't want to do this, man. Remember how hard these guys were? Well, I mean, these guys were never that hard, but... Uh, it's just... I mean, this guy's holding his own, I gotta admit. And a guy knows how to deflect a an attack or two. Um, it's just nice to come back to these areas with... You know, f far more strength. And the reason why I'm climbing back up here to the Sculptor's Idol is because something's going on with this. Um, so, it said something about... Um, Apparition-type enemies. So I kind of just want to see what that means. Oops, wrong button. So I mean, is this gonna help me against the headless? I'm I'm not sure. We're gonna try it though. 
And so we'll just rest up real quick. Uh, how much money do we have, actually, now thinking about it? I actually have a good amount. Um, do I really want to sink them into spirit emblems? Not really. Um, really, I wanted to... Okay, bear with me real quick. Okay, we're just going to take care of something real quick. There is a way that uh, you can kind of bank it. Although you'll be paying a fee. And I was kind of stupid to, to not notice this when I came. Hey, when I saw this the first time, I was just like, uh, why does this guy sell coin purses? Why would I want to spend money on money? But now I understand that it is a way to hold on to your money. Um, even if you die, right? I mean, you pay a little bit of a fee, right? You pay like a 10% fee. But you get to hold on to uh the money that you're that you had so that's you know a little tip if it helps anybody out there in the world then it's worth explaining i guess um let's come back here now and just bask in the in the fast loading times of an ssd drive and then continue um off the path here so, now I believe you, I believe you go this way, and we opened a shortcut up here, if I remember correctly. Yes, okay, so, we're gonna come down here. Just wondering, what is this umbrella gonna do for us, really, you know? That was actually kind of a sketchy jump. Can we actually go this way? We can. We can. Okay. So here we go. We we have not taken down a single headless in this entire playthrough. And I feel like if anybody was actually watching this video that played this game, they would criticize me. Luckily, no one will likely watch this video. But, um, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with the game and you find yourself watching this video for whatever reason... Um, then you would probably criticize me for not taking out a single headless the entire game. I understand that it is, it's not an easy enemy, right? Um, I believe he's in here. But we don't even know what a headless drops when you kill it. There, there he is, that, that old bastard. So um, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to bother putting it as a quick item here. But... Uh, the divine confetti, I mean. But we will go ahead and take a sip of this. And then jump right in here. Throw on the divine confetti. And approach the battle. I seem to do some... Okay, watch out behind you. No, 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 no. Gotta watch out for that attack. Kill if you can. Okay, he attacks pretty fast. He inflicted me with terror. Now, I gotta admit, I did not expect that. Be careful here. probably still hit me with that attack huh? okay so I need to get the divine confetti back on here and why don't we just pop no that because that's gonna take time I would trust me but it's two different animations as you can see we will go ahead and drink that nope Nope, you thought you thought you were gonna get me there, man. You really did. We are so close to our first headless kill, man. Oh my god. Why did that feel like the easiest thing in the world? 
Echoes, 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 Echoes Spirit Fall. Fallen Headless Spirit of Echo that increases vitality and posture damage for a time. Consumes spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Oh, look, at one point he had a head. You could see, like, in the picture there. Okay. So that's like a sugar, then, that's just reusable, I guess. Right? Uh, we didn't even get a prayer bead, which is a little disappointing. But hey, we defeated our first headless. Oh my god, it wasn't that tough. We actually achieved it. We did use, unfortunately, two divine confetti. But did you see that when he hit me with the fan, I was able to attack back after and uh, hit him with a little attack? Now, is, is there something? Is this the way I came? Or is there something else to this cave? Right, the shinobi door. Is this the one that read, that leads to the uh, bell? The demon bell. I believe it is. Okay, cool. So, we did it. Just rest real quick to get this enemy back in his, his, his place. Ooh, um, nice. I just want to take a look at this. So this is the, after using certain attacks, you could strike back, but that doesn't include the umbrella. This is it. So projected force. After using prosthetic tools, it allows one to draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it in a forward direction. So, is that what's going on when I use the umbrella? So, if I go like this... I see. I see. Very cool. Well, it did seem to help me, although I was a little sloppy about it. I, I gotta admit, but... Uh, I pulled through in the end, didn't I? So, we also know where another one is. And we might as well. This is the one that killed us several times. I mean, was just beating me while I was down. You know, just pounding on my face. I'd like to go and get my revenge on this this creature in the Ashen of Depths. So if I remember correctly, he's down here. Also, there are a few chickens on route. Yep. Love you. Wow, he came all the way down, huh? Okay, so let's see. Where is this guy? He is over there. Now, again, we're going to do same tactic. We're just going to... Perhaps we should pop the pacifying agent. Um, this time. We do have plenty of these. We have 10. Pop that. Then, of course, the divine confetti. So it's really nice to know that I have a place where I could get the Divine Confetti so I could actually use it and not feel nervous about this battle. That's a, that was quite a, quite a hit. So do they always appear behind you, by the way? They must, right? Get up, get up, get up. Okay, watch the terror. Back up. Take your time, it's okay. We have time. They must always appear behind you. Nice hit. Beautiful. But we need to heal up, so back up if you can. Might as well sip this. You know we're gonna have to activate Divine Confetti. Oh! Well, it's, but I turned back around. They don't always appear behind you, by the way. In case you wanted an actual answer to that question. It's not true. It's fake. <laughs> Ooh, a little jumpy because that, that one, that one kind of scared me. Must you take so long to sprinkle the divine confetti? That's my question. Also, where am I walking to? Do oh, no, 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 no. You almost got me. Where did the divine confetti go? He 
He got me. He got me. He did it. But but also, where did my divine confetti go? Oh, maybe he just interrupted the animation, right? And it never actually went through. All right, come on. I'm ready. Watch out for the, the combo hits like that. You know he's gonna try to appear behind me. I mean, in all reality, gotta watch the fear here, but he's not that bad. Okay, now we gotta back up and drink. We got to. Don't take too much time, though. Yep. No, dude, I... But... Nah, bro, you don't understand. That's... That's... That's my butt, man. But I turned around. I really did turn around there. You saw it. Okay, fair enough. This guy's going down, dude. Thank you for the unseen aid. Whatever it costs, whatever it takes. We're taking this guy down. Once and for all. And chicken, I wish you would just let me spare you. I do not like this fate of me and you killing each other every time. No. Here's one thing I didn't consider is that I'm I'm not using any other prosthetic tools here. Maybe I should be. Maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> Honestly don't know. <laughs> oh man, I was so close. Disappointed by that one. And it's you could see the hesitation in my fighting style. I can't deny it, man. I'm hesitating way too much for this fight. I gotta just go in there. Don't worry so much. I have divine confetti now at my disposal. No more hesitation. Okay, that was a fast attack. <laughs> nope. That attack is kind of BS, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I'm saying. Don't be so eager. It's almost like I gotta rely on being lucky. And not getting hit by that attack. Come back, come back, come back. Careful of the fear. Nope. Okay. Out of divine confetti. So I drink, drink. I mean, it almost feels like we don't need to use it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not. Oh, that felt good, man. That was really close. Now, now we got Gachins, Gachins, Spirit Fall. Fallen Headless Spirit of Gachin. Suppresses sound and presence. Okay, so it's like the other sugar. That's reusable. Oh, finally, man, I've rid that thing of existence. Please be divine confetti. <laughs> nope, it's... I mean, it's not bad, but... Is there anything else here that's... You know, notable? Or is it just... Just the big guy? Oh, okay. We got through that one. We did it, man. Um, Thinking, thinking, thinking. Now... What else do we need to do? Now, there are a couple headlesses underwater, actually, now that I think about it. Um, that battle is its going to be another one that we're going to have to face soon. But um, there's something else I wanted to do. Oh, um, I read a little something something online about a certain area of the game that we're going to have to go check out right now. What's this all about? Okay, well, I guess I'll just fall. Um, so, we're gonna go to the idol, 
And we're going to go back to, what was it, the, the poison pools? Because uh, we got a buddy who um, is waiting for us down there. Where was it? Here, I guess. Um, we got an old friend we got to visit. So we're going to go check this out. And this, I mean, this episode is just going to be chock full of action, man. Action packed. This is, <laughs> it's going to be nonstop battle. Oh, what? How, why did I forget about the poison when this area is called poison pools? Now, do we still have these fellows sitting here? We do not. And that actually kind of freaks me out, to be honest with you. I thought there were two dudes that were... Oh, no, okay. They're over here? No. Am I tripping? Something has changed about this area. There is an item over there. I see that. Now, what's going on down here? Now, remember this spot... Perhaps. Perhaps you don't, but when we walked through here last time, we were like, this totally looks like a boss arena. Who or what did this to you? Why'd you get a Spoilers. My, neck. My, neck. <laughs> My dog. Okay, so here's the thing. It's time for round number two. Now, you see our, our old buddy over there? Um, what can we use? What can we use? We should be using fire, probably. Or, or firecrackers. Now, I've heard that this fight is quite tough. So, we may not do this first attempt. <laughs> and that would be putting it lightly. Man, the way this thing moves is absolutely god-awful and fucking terrifying. Let me just say. Let me just try to remember the moveset of this old boy. Oh, yeah, 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 there's that. Okay, now, actually, I think that we might be able to use this to protect from that. Okay, I'm a little rusty on this fight. Oh, you know what else, though? <laughs> Give me this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Did you see that, though? Did that even... Did that work? <laughs> it's hard to say. My lord, it worked. And we get to attack with the divine confetti afterwards. Okay, so we died. But we're, st we're still in this. How, how, how am I letting this happen? Oh, sh crap. That was a close one. Okay. It's alright, we got this. Um. Maybe I shouldn't be using all my spirit emblems. That is beautiful. If I had that in the original fight, I mean, come on. It would have been over before we know it. Okay, what is this now? What is this now? Okay, it's that. That's what it is. That's, that's what it is. 
Got a feeling I'm gonna need these. Um, how am I supposed to fight two of these dudes, dude? I mean, should I be going after this guy first? This, I mean, this is horrifying. Well, what do you what, what do you want me to say? I don't even know what to do. I guess attack this guy. Oh! Watch out for, you know, that kind of move. We gotta, we, oh, we gotta get rid of this guy. Okay, maybe not, okay. Maybe we should keep our eye on, on, on this guy. Maybe we should just die. Because, sweet lord. What a fight. This is a sweep, remember. We gotta go in for the attack on this. I mean, we didn't even do any, like, like any vitality damage on that one, huh? Oh, I didn't expect that. I, I really did not. Okay. So, it feels like I fought that horribly. It really does. Oh. <sighs> but, um... You know what we have to do? We have to... We have to do better on the first phase of that fight. Um, we were sloppy on the first phase, you know. Um, we gotta kind of focus... On having a clean first phase so we can go into the second phase doing good but now we know a couple special things here look at that that's horrifying you see that posture damage That is so beautiful. I can't even begin to explain how that changes this fight. I missed the perfect parry on that one. You see how beautiful that was? <laughs> Man, I mean, it just turns the tides so much. Can we do vitality damage while he's doing this? Is this gonna hurt us? Okay, now for this big guy, I'm thinking maybe we could just eliminate him quickly with a, a few flames. Okay, or maybe they'll just kill us instantly. There's a nice stop, though. Can we just get out of this corner, man? This guy's really getting on my nerves. I mean, honestly, what, what do you do here? Take them one at a time, I guess, as they come at you. I mean, that is a good start. Sweep. Wow. Now that's just... That's just a little insulting. This guy's vitality, though. You can see it's not... It's not that great. If we're smart and careful here... I mean, I sh should have known that was the... Uh, I hate that I missed that. Man. Okay, I'm still alive somehow. I want that... I want that monkey gone, man. What's with... What's with my posture right now? 
Look at it. Look at his posture. Look at his posture. That's close. We just gotta avoid the big, you know, this dancing monkey without a head. I'm sorry. He he still has his head. It's just it's just in his hand. Okay. Should have been ready for that one. Jeez, I mean, <laughs> this is horrible. Wrong monkey. I'm also running low on spirit emblems here, by the way. This guardian ape is doing a good job guarding, by the way. Oh, I knocked him back. I knocked him back. He's he's running away. He's coming back. He's angry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, he's so close to death. No, 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 no. Now I myself am just very close to death. Get him, get him, get him. Now run. Also heal. He's so close. Hit him. Get him. How do you like that? How do you like that? We just used all of our healing items to get there, but... Okay, back up. This is easy now. This is the battle we know and love. All right, all right, give me the big one. Well, not that one, but whatever. There it is, there it is. Now get him good. staggered. We've done it. Oh my god, I can't believe we just did that on the second try. Oh, that was intense. But we did it, man. It wasn't that bad. Pretty easy boss fight. Give it like a 2 out of 10. Right, we got a memory. You can't can't say no to that. It's going to increase our attack power for sure. We got a, a prayer beat. We got two... What? No, shut up, man. Get, go to sleep forever. You had me on that one. I'm not going to lie. You had me there. <laughs> uh, bestowal. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu technique that reese a blade in the victim's blood... Extending its reach, cost spirit emblems to use, activated after a backstab death blow. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, I mean, here's the good news with that. Is that now... Um, we'll go ahead and rest. Now we can upgrade our attack power and vitality... Oh, that, that's just, that is just a beautiful thing. Look at that health bar down there. Okay, now we're not done with our, <laughs> with our onslaught here. We got two major, I mean, actually three major battles down. Now we're on to the next one, which I believe, what, how are you, you've become the rock. What did this to you? Okay, he's back. Um, there is another... I guess we're gonna have to teleport. Apparently there's another necromancer warrior dude that we have to, uh... to face up against. And there's also a... 
another other little thing I need to do after that. This is an eventful episode. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm, of course, talking to nobody who's watching this video, but in the slight off chance that you are, thank you. I value your support. I hope you value, you know, my playthrough. Um, feel free to comment and <laughs> perhaps like. <laughs> What's this guy doing?